barn up to the side. Good evening, everyone. I'm Christopher Mills. And to start, I'll let you know the images you see aren't any, in any particular order. They're just to show you the way I actually view the world. And they're all photographs and digital edits I did over the last few years. Now to start, I made a major change in my life back in 2013. After working in the retail sector for over 20 years, 19 of it at the local Lowe's home centers here, I decided it's time for me to do something different with the rest of my life. And I decided I was gonna go back to school. And I did a lot of research and everything into it for about six months before I actually left. And when I first went back to school at Pensacola State here, I decided I'm gonna major in physics because that's what I tried to do back in the early 90s until I got to school and then go in to take Calculus two after I took Calculus one back in 1990. So 23 years later, I'm trying to do Calculus again and that just made my head hurt too much. So then, the other thing I really love, as you can see from these images, is nature. So I was like, with my love of nature, I'm gonna go into environmental science. So I went on and got my uh, two-year degree into the environmental science program, but then decided I really need a backup before I go any further. And since I've loved photography since I was eight years old and got my first camera, but over the years, I mean, I'd had family tell me, you take such great pictures, but I never sold any. So I was like, I'm missing something, so let me go ahead and get my degree in that. And in getting my associates at Pensacola State, um, I learned a lot about photography and then actually, of course, started selling images. And that's where I also discovered that what I really want to do is actually teach once I finish school. So, of course, with just an associate's degree or two of them, you can't really teach. So now I'm out at the University of West Florida working on my bachelor's uh, of fine arts in uh, photography and also working on a bachelor's of in environmental science. So I'm keeping myself busy. And his last term, which just ended a few days ago, I'm just taking, of course, six classes, which a few years ago I said I'd never do that again, which was quite rough these last two weeks with finals. And then, of course, for the spring, I signed up for, what, six classes again. And then, of course, once I finish there, I'll probably be going off for my master's because if I really want to teach, I need a master's degree. So we'll see where that goes, especially once that, um, that door opens. But in the way I see the world, you may notice in some of these images, the uh, colors are a little weird, and some of them will be extremely bright. But that's because I truly can't see all the colors that everybody can. I've done the test where they see how many like, cones you have in your eyes, and I basically have two. So I don't get to see all the colors. So when I do the chart, I, when you're supposed to see like 40 colors across there, I see blocks of like, especially yellow, greens, and purples, I just see big blocks. So I can't distinguish all those colors. But I can't see them with my eyes, but I can see them in my mind, especially when I'm listening to music because I have what's called synesthesia, where I actually hear colors so I can hear more colors than I can actually see. And that's something that I use in a lot of my artwork and is trying to get it to where other people can actually in a way, see what I do in my mind, even though I can't always see everything you do with your eyes. And that's actually something the computers help me with because I can see the colors by looking at the numbers. And I've learned to do that with my images is to um, look at the numbers in Photoshop so I can see the colors. Another thing I do <coughs> is to look at the world in a different angles. In my early days of photography, I did everything at eye level because that's how I, I thought you see the world. Well, of course, that didn't help me in selling any of my prints or doing anything besides shooting weddings because that's, you do those at eye level. So then once I go back to school, I start learning things like look at things at a different angle, look at them at a different perspective. And with film, that's not always the easiest, which I do shoot a lot of film, but with digital, and especially the cameras now where you have all your flip screens and stuff, you can actually get down on the ground, and that's what I do with a lot of these images. Is get down, basically like I'm a toddler climbing across a floor to look at the world from their eyes. And that's something that can really change your outlook and your, the way you see the world. And another thing, if you ever see me out when I'm taking these pictures, I'm looking up at the ceiling, looking for neat details, looking down at the ground, looking all around me. And that's something that you can easily do in your daily life. 
is take a, take a moment and look around. See what's to your left, see what's to your right. Stop, turn around. And that's something that I actually finally started doing many years ago when I was walking nature trails in Gulf Breeze. I'd be walking, and I always did the trail in the same direction. I'd go out and take pictures, but I always did it in the same direction. Until one day, I heard something behind me, and I stopped and turned around, and I see it basically opened my eyes up to almost a whole new world, to where I just was so set on doing everything the exact same way because I was comfortable. And getting up here is definitely out of my normal comfort zone, but still doing it. And of course, like I was saying, look up, look down. These are different things you can see and the way I see colors in my mind. And other things you can do to make it a little different is instead of like where you always just drive the same road, take a different route to work. If you ride your bike, ride a different street, ride a different trail. Just look at things different because you'll actually be surprised what you actually learn about the area around you and what you may actually learn about yourself. <clears throat> now one thing I did recently because I've always driven a small car is I actually got on and rode the buses. And I've seen quite a few things here in Pensacola that I never knew we actually had. And I've done the same with the trolleys downtown. It's just something different that you can actually see things that you don't know we have until you actually get out and do it. Because when I'm always driving, I need to keep my eyes on what I'm doing instead of looking at what's on the sides of the road so I don't rear end somebody. But if you've never done it, get on one of the buses or the trolleys and ride its full route, and you will see things that you haven't seen before. Thank you.